Hello everyone and welcome to the latest Exo Heroes Hero Spotlight. Today we will be looking at Bathory, Kingsguard of Greenland, not to be confused with actual Greenland. A quick overview, Bathory is one of the most sought after heroes and for good reason. While her actives are strong, her passive is what really makes her S plus tier, and we'll explain why in this video. A quick look at her traits, she's obviously a faded hero, frost elements, attack position, and magical attack type. So now why don't we go ahead and take a look at those skills. Okay, so like every other hero, Bathory has a basic attack that does 525 to 632 damage on a single target. So Bathory's A1 is Mistleton, and what it does is it does AoE damage to all enemies at 102% damage. So let's take a quick look. And then her A2 is called Niflheim, which costs 5 mana, and it deals 357% damage to all enemies again. So both of her skills are AoE. Very cool animation, I have to say. Now let's take a look at her passive. So Bethary's passive starts with mana utilization, which increases attack based on allies' mana count. And then there are also two added components, one being that she gains 1 mana if Allies' mana count is at 10 or more on turn, or she also gains 1 mana if enemy's mana count is at 10 or more on that turn. She also gives Breath of Mana, but this is interesting in that most of the champions that has Breath of Mana tend to give mana to Allies on the same row, however, Bathory being a back row champion actually provides permanent 1 mana gain to the front row allies, so that's an interesting touch. And then her last passive is Tranquil, which grants ally with less attack than herself with a Tranquil mark and protects from death one turn. And this applies to most of the champions out there since Bathory has pretty high attack as an attack champion. With that being said, let's take a look at how you can best utilize Bathory. Right, so I think at this point it's clear that Bathory is not only the King's Guard of Green Land, but she's also the Queen of AoE damage. With her A1 costing only 1 mana, if paired with a hero who has Flow of Mana or another mana generating passive for the backline, she'll be doing up to 510% damage to the enemy every turn. While the 102% damage on A1 may seem low at first, when combined with the low mana cost, mana utilization 3, and her base attack, which is the highest of all faded attackers, it poses a significant threat. If you feel safe enough with her to save up 5 mana, Bathory's A2 deals massive damage to all enemies, and this ramps up even more if you're able to take advantage of her mana utilization 3 passive. Having all of these AoE abilities also makes her a good Guardian Stonebreaker in PvE zones with Heavy Ice Affinity. The most interesting thing, I think, about Bathory is that she has so much self-synergy through mana utilization and her other passives, and this works in two ways. Firstly, Breath of Mana encourages a frontline heavy team to take advantage of the mana gain. This, in turn, means permanent 5 base mana for her mana utilization passive, making it easier to proc. In addition to this, Breath of Mana also synergizes with Tranquil in that by running a frontline heavy team, you're going to have high health and defense heroes on the frontline, which will make them much more annoying to deal with when they're saved from death one time. While the two portions of her passive are strong, Tranquil is what really sets Bathory apart. Aside from the special synergies with Rira and Ulum, Tranquil itself protects allies with less attack, which is basically everyone, from death one time and that is utility that just can't be overstated. This works especially well when you have a dedicated healer or a sustain heavy team that would make it so that your opponent essentially has to kill everybody twice. Now, why don't we take a chance here to look at her fate core. Okay, so let's take a look at Bathory's fate core. So, the biggest addition to the Bathory's fate core is her passive, Hitman Leva. So what it does is it provides increased health to all allies except herself or 20%. And I mean, this is just a straight buff on top of her already very strong kit. With a new addition to her passive, it's just buffing up the health of our allies. It's, I mean, what can I say? It's great. Especially given that she has great synergy with champions like Garf and Wulom, being able to utilize the additional percent health increase, it's just huge. 
So overall, I find it funny how her lore、um, is that she isn't able to sympathize with others, <laughs> and it feels like the devs took that inspiration a bit too heavily on designing her as a hero, essentially with no equals. So overall, that's it for us. You know, that's that's our thought on Bathory. If you have any different thoughts, let us know in the comment section down below. To see more EXO Hero related reviews, feel free to check out our other content. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps us grow. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.